Hey, what's up guys? Jess here. Welcome back to another video. So I have been eyeing these planters in Home Depot. Every time that I walk by, I think they are so gorgeous and they would be perfect in front of my garage. The only problem is they are super expensive and I just couldn't fork out that kind of money. So I'm going to show you today how I DIY my own. So I came across these two planters in my local Walmart. They were marked down on clearance to $8 a piece. They were the only two left, so I brought them home because I thought they'd be perfect for my DIY. So I know y'all are probably thinking, Jess, they don't match. They're two different colors. It's cool. I got this. They're going to be painted, so it doesn't matter that they don't match. But here's just a close-up look at the planter. It's by Better Homes and Gardens, and this is a 22-inch planter. So this is actually bigger than the ones that I was going to get from Home Depot for $90. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this planter, and I'll show y'all what it looks like in the end. So first and foremost, as always, I'm starting off with cleaning. I'm using my tack cloth to go in and just give this a thorough wipe down to remove any dust and dirt that I see on the pot. These both were sitting outdoors, so I wanna make sure that I get everything removed off this planter before I paint it. To begin my makeover, I'm starting off with priming. This is the primer I chose. I also picked this up in Walmart. Being that this is a plastic material, you wanna be sure to prime it very well just to give the paint something to stick to. Typically when I'm priming, whatever color paint I choose, I try to use the same color primer. But this one by Krylon that I have here is a primer and paint combination. So it is in black matte. And I'm going to make sure that I'm getting both the inside and the outside fully covered as best as I can. So here I am applying my second paint coat application. With this paint and primer combo, it should only take two coats to completely cover the entire piece. And I did also allow for about an hour drying time between coats. With the second coat, I'm just making sure to fill in any gaps that I may have missed and also ensure the paint is applied smoothly for even coverage. So here is how it's looking so far. Both coats are dry and I was able to complete both planters with just two cans of paint. I love how this looks, but again, y'all, I am going for that estate look. So this is the paint I'll be using next. It is Rust-Oleum Stone Textured Finish. And this paint does come in a bunch of colors. Unfortunately, I was not able to find the black in any of my local hardware stores, so I ended up ordering this on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys, but y'all, I love this paint. I love the texture that it sprays out. It sprays just like regular spray paint. Um, it did take a little bit of a learning curve with this as well, but I did figure out the closer that you spray the nozzle, the better the effect comes out. So I am gonna let this play and not speed it up so you all can see exactly how this paint comes out. Also, with every paint coat application, I am making sure to cover the inside rim of the planter. You want to be sure not to neglect that, at least down to the soil line, because that part will be seen. Okay guys, so I've got the first planter done, and y'all look at the texture that this spray paint gave this pot. 
Now you definitely could leave it just this way and just stop here, but I am gonna take this a step further. Just because these pots are going outside, I wanna make sure that I seal the paint so that it doesn't start to wash away. Okay, so it is the next day. You want to be sure to allow that paint time to cure. So you wanna allow at least five to six hours before you apply any type of top coat or put anything in the planter. This is the top coat enamel that I'll be using. It is by Rust-Oleum and it's a semi-gloss in the color black. And I'm just going to use this as a top coat to seal the paint. Okay guys, so we're ready for the final coat. With this top coat, I wanna be sure that I'm making small, even strokes to make sure that I'm covering the entire piece just so that I don't have any issues with water damaging my paint job. And y'all, please do not be like me. Make sure that you're wearing a mask for this entire project. These fumes are extremely, extremely strong, particularly with this enamel. So make sure that you're doing this in a well-ventilated area and that you're also wearing a mask. One other thing that I did notice when applying this top coat is it took away a little bit of the roughness or the texture of the paint. If you all noticed when I was painting with the stone spray paint, it had little white specks in it. And when I started to apply this top coat enamel, it took away those white specks. I believe it was because I was using the color black for my top coat enamel. So maybe if I was using a clear top coat, then those white specks still would show. But just beware if you're applying a top coat that it could take away some of that texture. Okay, here we are, the finished product. Everything is nice and dry, and you guys, this is exactly what I was going for. These pots look completely different. They don't even look like the same pot anymore. Look at the paint job and the texture that that paint provided. It looks just like stone. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you, my pot is completely dry now with the top coat. Just wanted to show you what the bottom is looking like. It does come with this little situation where you can like twist this. So if you don't want the base and just the pot, you can have no feet. And then it also does come with drainage holes. It comes with these like plug things that you just pop out like that and you have your drainage. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up with soil and I'll be right back with y'all. Before filling my pots up with soil, I always make sure to line my drain holes with some type of filter or mesh just to make sure no soil spills out of the holes onto my surface and also prevent any insects from crawling up into my pots. Isn't it amazing how just a little bit of time and a few coats of paint can save you so much money and take your pots from looking like this to this? I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy DIY makeover tutorial. Please stay tuned for my next video because I will be planting these up with some gorgeous clearance plants. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.